Friends, I'm back here at SkyFi in Ridgewood, New Jersey, SkyFi Audio, and I've heard yet another great system. Fernando keeps topping himself, but this system has a personal thing for me. When I worked at Sound by Singer in the 80s and 90s, my favorite speaker of all time that was sold in that store was a Wilson Watt Puppy. And I loved it so much. I couldn't afford them even at a big discount. So I used to come into work early to listen to them without being interrupted by customers in business. I would come into work an hour early, go to the sound room, and just bring in my latest records. And it was just, whoa. And I'd go home and listen to my humble little system. And go, oh my god, it's just, it's just not the same. I had what puppy envy. And it just, that went on for years and years and years. Now, mind you, at the other end of the room with the Watt Puppies was usually much more expensive speakers, usually Wilson X1s, which were $85,000 at the time. That's when $85,000 was a lot of money. But uh, the Watt Puppies, which were then around 17, 18, or 20,000, that's, that's, that's all I needed for me. So uh, this system that Fernando put together has these Watt Puppy 5s looking lovely in black, which is what most of them were. Well, they did sometimes come with ugly wood side baffles. Um, but this is the classic look. Uh, this pair has been, uh, had new uh, foams and the panel, the baffles were redone and it looks, looks pretty damn sweet for a speaker that's probably pushing 20 years old. And driving uh, the Wild Puppies are these uh, Spectral <laughs> DMA 360 monoblocks. There's two. Now, S Spectral is another one that for me, I never sold Spectral amps. Uh, Andy was never a Spectral dealer, but I did own a Spectral DMC 10 preamp. And that preamp was one of my alternative preamps to whatever else I owned at the time. I sometimes had an Audio Research SP6B. I sometimes had a Mark Levinson preamp of some sort. And the Spectral, I just bounced around between those three. And with the Spectral uh, preamp, I had not a Spectral power amp, but I had Krell power amps. But this uh, Krell preamp, the KBL Krell balanced line, um, that was a sweet spot on the line. I sold many, many of those preamps. And uh, I always thought of Dan as more of a power amp guy than a preamp. But some of these KBL and uh, KSL and the original PAM 1, PAM 3, those are really good preamps. And listening to this system today, man, it sounded great. And I said it about the other system I listened to here, the Maggie system. This system, again, this transported me back to a different time. This was the time of working at Sound by Singer and selling lots and lots of Watt Puppies myself. And you know what? If I was to retire right now as from being a reviewer, I have a lot of stuff coming and going, I would buy these, maybe these very speakers. They're, that, they're just blowing me away at that level. It's like, yeah, this is the speaker I came into work early to listen to because it just connected the dots better than anything else. I was playing a uh, Hor Vladimir Horowitz recording called Vladimir Horowitz at Home and his touch. Now that's the thing about Horowitz that just blows me away is it's not just that he's playing the right notes at the right time, it's just that every note, the touch of them, the dynamics of each note is so beautiful and it takes a great speaker to let you hear that degree of subtlety and, and touch. It just comes down to that. I was briefly the world's worst piano tuner. That's why it was brief. And uh, I learned how to be a piano tuner. I had a lot of interest in pianos and getting inside pianos and working on pianos. I just didn't have a good ear for being in, in tune or in pitch. So I was the world's worst piano tuner. But being around other piano tuners uh, gave me uh, ears to what pianos sound like when they're great. Hearing a piano really in tune, in concert level of tune, is not like what somebody usually has at home. Pianos, when they're tuned by true experts, true geniuses of piano tuning, the people that I was around, you just hear harmonics coming off of a piano that you don't hear 
in real life or even in concert because you're not really close enough to the piano to hear that sort of thing. But me being around piano tuners and being basically their helpers, I heard pianos at incredible states of tune. And hearing this uh, Vladimir recording, it was connecting that back to me. So anyway, this is a, a wonderful system. <laughs> Fernando did an amazing job putting it all together. We had a few stumbles along the way, but the end result is what matters. And uh, it's, it's a work of pure uh, perfection and beauty. That's what it's about, right? My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show coming to you more or less daily. And I want to thank Fernando and Dave Wasserman from Stereo Exchange who put this whole thing together today. And uh, there'll be more coming to you from Fernando's Hideaway in Ridgewood, New Jersey at SkyFi Audio. Thanks for watching.